Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we are going for another pen review and today we are reviewing a Lamy pen that was kindly sent for review by Funto Plumo. The, um, it is a, a Dutch store that you can find there, fontoplumo.nl and they sent me some pens and one is this. This is the Lamy Safari Candy Aquamarine. This is the color for the special color for 2020. And this is the special color, but it did not come alone. It was the same kind of release as the previous year. year. And so in 2020, it is called the Candy Collection. And it is it is made of the aquamarine, the mango, and the purple or violet. I don't remember the name exactly, but we'll go there someday for the review. These pens come. This one is inked now, but they usually come like this with this cardboard ring there to avoid to puncture the cardboard ring here to avoid puncturing the cartridge that is inside while in transit. Then you just remove that and then you can screw the barrel completely on the pen. So this was the edition, some very bright colors and this is one of those and that's the one that I'm seeing today because I always find it interesting to see the pens even if they are quite the same as the others from the same collection, just differs in the color and I always like to provide some color comparisons with other pens because I think it's interesting. So, about this pen, I guess all of you already know how a Lamy Safari looks. You have already some reviews that I made of Lamy pens, Lamy Safari pens that I made here on the channel. So let's take a look of some general and particular properties of this pen. First, we have the top of the pen that has kind of that cross, if it was a Phillips screw head, that is made of the same color as the pen. This is a, a special thing for this ear. It is usually black. Then you have the clip that sometimes is black, sometimes is silver, and this time the clip with a U-shape is also of the same color as the pen. And the pen has this turquoise greenish color. Uh, it's for me very hard to describe. The cap is uh, cylindrical and the barrel would be cylindrical but it is flat on two sides. It has a uh, ink window which is just an opening on the barrel from one side to another, so don't forget about eyedroppering this. And then it has here Lamy engraved on the barrel. The cap comes out just by pulling it and you have the triangular shaped section that some people love, some people hate. I don't like that so much. And then you have the shiny steel nib that has silver color. In this pen also this part has the same color and it is usual black. The finish of this pen is a matte finish unlike uh, many other... Usually what I meant is sometimes the brighter colors are not with a, with a matte finish. Some of the darker colors used to come to come some of them in the matte finish but this old collection comes in matte finish and I really like it more than the glossy one. Then you can unscrew this, it can take the Lamy proprietary converter or cartridges. However, if you want you may fit Parker cartridge Parker Quink cartridges inside Lamy pens. As far as I tried, I can do it and no harm done. And it is an alternative if you can't find a Lamy cartridge around. So, this is the overall looks of the pen. You already are very familiar with a Lamy pen, so 
I don't think you need much more explanation. Let me just go for a size comparison and I usually go for the size comparison with a Parker Dufour and a Lamy Safari. However, because this is a Lamy Safari, I just need to compare it with a Parker Dufour. It would be stupid to compare it with another Lamy Safari. So, they are approximately of the same size. The Dufour is a little bit thicker on the barrel. One is push cap, the other one is a screw cap, and you'll find that the pens are around about the same size, although the nib type is very different. An additional thing, the nibs on the Lamy's are very easy to remove, you can remove them easily and exchange it for some other kind of nib. There are nibs, extra nibs available in several sizes, so you can order them, uh, them and exchange them yourself. Sometimes you might find it useful if the particular nib you got doesn't fit well with your writing or for some unfortunate reason you ruin your nib because you dropped the pen or something like that. Now, I think we're going for the most exciting part because all you know how the Lamy write, unless you're seeing this video for the first time and this is the first time you see a a Lamy Safari, but if it is not, maybe you already know how it is, uh, because it's the same in all of them. You will s let's just see the, the color comparison, and this is the Lamy Safari for this year, the Candy Aquamarine. This is the Petrol for some years ago, which is also bluish-greenish, but a very different shade. This is the edition for 2019 which is also quite different color of this one. It's not the same at all. This is the blue macaron from last year. And this is also from, I don't remember which year, this is the Lamy All-Star Pacific, which is a blue, turquoise blue, which is kind of similar, but this is more greenish. Now, let's just make some color comparison with other pens that you may or may not already know, because not all of them are that usual, but sometimes I find this interesting to do this comparison. So, the first pen that we are putting next to this one is a Parker 45 Turquoise. The color is darker. Then we have or oh, another Parker, and this one is a Parker 51, the special edition for 2000, uh, 2002, and it is darker than the, it's not darker, it's brighter than the Parker 45, and it's not really the same kind of blue. I think this is quite a unique kind of blue. Then I have four more pens to compare it with. Let's go to Caveco, because sometimes Caveco are similar. This is the Caveco Frosted Sport Blueberry. It's different color, clearly different, more bluish. This is greenish. And this is the Peacock, the Skyline Sport Peacock, which is an older edition. It is more close, but not the same kind of tone. And here I have let me just check the name. This is a platinum, an older pen, platinum regal, regal pen, and the platinum is also darker, more bluish, grayish blue. And finally, we have a Tatung 361, I think that's the name, yes, 361, which is the closest one because it is also a greenish blue or a bluish green, so it is the more similar, although it is not quite the same. So, I hope you found this color comparison interesting, because that's what you usually say in comments, that you find the color comparisons useful. So, this is all, let's go for the writing sample. And here we are with paper and pen, and let's see the performance. First, something that I did not say, the Lamy's post very well and securely, but they become a very long pen, and for me, when the cap is over this part of the hand, it's not comfortable anymore to post. So, I will not 
post this pen, I will use it and post it and hold the cap in the other hand. So, let's see. This is the Lamy Safari Candy. And this is the Tooth uh, Candy Aquamarine. And this is the 2020 Special Edition with a fine steel nib. The paper is the usual Rodia dot pad and the ink inside is an ink that I like a lot, the Schiffer script turquoise. It is a nice ink, in my opinion. So, about the performance of this pen. I think you can hear it. There is some feedback with this pen. You can really feel the paper. And I guess this kind of feedback can be a little bit too much for some of the users. But, for me, it's still okay. But I have better experiences with Lamy Safari in the past and I have I had worse experience like in last year's pens that were a little bit almost scratchy. This is not scratchy but has quite a bit of feedback. It could be a much smoother nib. In a, this is not the most pleasant of the feedbacks but it's not awful. About the writing. You cannot expect any line variation, but you can find a lot of ink to be put on paper, especially for a fine nib. So it's quite good to write and it will not fail on you even if you write quicker. About the reverse writing, I find it scratchy, but it works, but it is stupid to do because when you have a section that has a place to hold your fingers in a specific way, this means they are telling you, at least in my interpretation, that you should not hold the pen the other way around because it doesn't really fit on your fingers. So it doesn't make sense to make the reverse writing, but if you find you want to, you can do it. But it is scratchy, but it writes. So about the writing experience, I could say it would be much more pleasant. About the writing, the, the line variation, you can't get much, you can force it, but it will not work. And if the pen is not the most smooth of, of all, when you try to press it harder, it will make your writing experience even worse. So, by saying that, I'm not saying that this pen is bad. I think the color is quite good. I like the bold colors Lamy went for this year. I like the dream of the pen to be of the same color as the pen and I also like that they come in this three color set. I, I really enjoy it and I think this is a very nice move from Lamy because they make people buy three pens or most people to buy three pens instead of just one. What I'm saying about the nib is this is not the worst nib and you can have a smooth spot to write with. But if you just go a little bit off angle, it is not that pleasant anymore. So I would say that Lamy should give a little bit more care to their nibs. I find this lately. I, th I find maybe 10 years ago, the Lamy nibs were better finished than they are today. Maybe they will say it's not true because they are same. They are made the same way. I'm not. I do not know. I'm not judging them. I'm just saying my opinion. I would prefer it to be smoother. Of course, you can smooth it at home easily, but I would prefer it would be nicer out of the box. However, it's quite fun, pleasant, and 
I think these colors are really, really a good gift for someone that is starting into fountain pens. I always see these pens as student pens for starters more than for more used uh, for more for people more used to work with fountain pens. However, they fit nicely and they are very good for collectors because you can get so many finishes and new ones and special ones each year. So it may be also an interesting pen both for users and for collectors and for people that are starting writing with their fountain pens. So this is all for today. Soon I will make my review of the other two. I didn't think them yet, so I don't know if they are if the MIP is the same has the same feeling. And so I have to say thanks to all of you for watching and also to Fontoplume for sending me the pen for review. And this is all for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.